Hi everyone, so we're gonna repair for our sumai dim sum tomorrow. So I have to soak the mushroom in the water overnight. So I'm going to use about three of them. Just three and soak overnight. And I will show you the rest tomorrow when we come back. Everyone here, I have about a pound and a half shrimp here. We like to eat a lot of shrimp. So I'm going to just cut into a cube like this. Don't you just add it in here, half a pound, everyone. Here I have six cloths of garlic. The mushroom that I soak overnight and then I cut into the small piece like this. If you don't like the mushroom, you don't have to use it. And here I have a whole cup of Jikama. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. You can find this at the, any Asian supermarket. And I chop it too. You scallion. One tablespoon of cornstarch. You can get uh, this brand or any brand. One large egg. You can just crack it right in here. Two teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sesame oil, the brand that I usually use. It make in Japan, so one teaspoon. Two teaspoon of fish sauce. This is the one that I showed you the other day, the fish sauce here. Or you can use the three crab. I'm using this kind of soy sauce this time for this. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of the soy sauce. And now you can just put on the side. And at this time with this rim right here, you can just use the knife in the cutting board and then you kind of drop it. You're going to mix this all together. You just wear gloves and do this. Make sure you mix everything nice well together with all that cornstarch and everything. I love going to dim sum and for this thing happen we hardly can go there. But something we can do at home if we have time. I do cook a lot too, but I just don't do video. So now a lot of people are asking me to share some cooking video. I'm sharing with you my home cook recipe, everyone. And if you do something different, then go ahead. Everybody different. I also have cut the uh, carrot chop into the small piece here too. We're going to use that for later. So everyone, this is my the part of the steamer that I use. The bottom part, I have water um, that I'm going to steam in the water in the kitchen stove. Um, and this is the one that I'm going to put the dim sum, the uh, sumai around. And so I can steam it. To do that, you either put the wax paper here, but I don't like the wax paper because it tend to keep the moisture underneath. This has the holes here, so it's good. So all you need to do is just brush with olive oil. 
on the the top part of the steamer here. Just like this, very simple, and then you're going to leave it there. So I'm going to put the oil where we need it, and we can just bring it back in. So here I have the wrapper, I got it here. This is the yellow one, and the other one I get the white one. So I'm going to try both of them for you to see. This part right here, I'm using it in my hand like this, and I'm going to get about a teaspoon. Up the feeling when I have it I'm going to bring it up to my hand like this you kind of wrapping it see how simple this is and then you can just leave it in here continue doing the same thing everyone so get the feeling in here just like this and then bring into your hand like this in this area between your thumb and your in, uh, index finger and then try and do Fold it and squeeze, gently sweet. Do not sweet until the meat coming out. Just like that. Put it in here. And then this is the carrot. You can just take a few and just place it right on top of it. Press it down. Just for decoration. It is nicer. Oh my goodness, my kid. So continue to wrap it, everyone. Just do this. Move it here so it's drop it down here in this hole and then bring it up gently. Gently and squeeze it. You see how easy that is? Trying to push it down on the top here and see. So easy. You can use chicken. So do it here. If you want to look nicer, you can get your finger and then go around. Make sure it go like a flower tie up with the petal right here, just like that. Push it in. Push it in if you want to make it nicer, or you can just let go to here and then try and to fold it in. So now this is all I make and um, I want to make more but then the water boiling so I make a white one in there too. You can see the water boiling looking at that clear window here. You can see that. I'm going to just put this right on top of it over this and let it just steam for about 10 minutes or so and I'll come back I'll take it out. Almost done everyone. I still need to make three more. And that's it. This is the white one. The white one is thicker. The white one is just almost like the um, the one ton the other day when I make. The green one. So they lace it. So all you need to do is just come here and then just we gently sweep. And then you're going to get the spoon. Tap this down, tap, tap. Symbol. Kit will do this too. My kit won't. But I have to clean up after them. So I'd rather do this for myself. So like this, put in your index finger and your thumb and just squeeze. Gently sweet. You see how easy that is? Look my rose.
Look at this everyone, I finished this dim sum and here I'm making dipping sauce. I have one tablespoon of vinegar and I'm going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce. and um, half a teaspoon of sugar because the vinegar. So I'm going to slice some hot chili in here. And that's it, basically that's all you have to do everyone. So delicious. That is so simple, the sauce everyone. Thank you so much everyone. Stay safe and take care. So delicious. This is good for the whole family. I still have a little, a few more in this place right here. I still have more in here too. The white wrap and the yellow wrap, they saw the same, but the white wrap is thicker.